Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. In this lesson, we are going to discuss alignment options. So sometimes you want to align images, you want to align text, you want to align shapes, any kind of object on the screen, you might want to make it so they're going to be flush left, or maybe you want to align them on the top. Other times you also want to distribute your objects. So let's take a look at this document here where I have these icons here. Now, all I'm going to do is just simply select the objects that I want to align. So you'll notice here when I select this one, I'm going to hold down the shift key and you're going to notice a couple of things. First of all, I get this nice little bounding box and you can see that those are now selected. Now, if you look way over here in the upper right, you're going to see that I have all these alignment options available to me. And if you move your mouse over them, you're going to see this is going to say align left. This is going to be align right, etc. So you can just see all those there. Now, in addition to that, you will see that we do have an alignment panel. So I'm going to bring mine up over here. You can see here's a line. Bring that over there. Now, if you don't see it, you have to go back to the window menu, come over here to the object and layout choice, and then choose a line. Okay, so very easy to have that there. So I'm going to keep this up here, but just know that you have some overlap. Now, this align panel has a few more options here, like distributing and a few other distributing options as well. All right, so really up to you. Now, very simply, I want to align these so their tops meet. All right, so you can see, what is this one? What is that one? Let me see, what is that one? Oh, there you go, align top edges. And just like that, those are in fact aligned. Now, there are some kind of nuances to alignment, and especially within this panel, because sometimes if it doesn't work the way that you asked it to do it, and it's aligning it, let's say, say for example, inside of the whole page or the spread, it could be because this choice here, where it says align to, is not the correct choice. So when I click on that, you'll notice it says align to selection. And that's exactly what I want, and that's exactly why it did what it did. But you could see here that it might align to the margins, align to the page, align to the spread. All right, so it's really up to you. So as an example, let's say I wanted this thing like perfectly in the center of the page. So I'm going to go ahead and select this. And I'm going to say align to page. Then I center it and you can see how it's perfectly aligned that way. And I'm going to go ahead and horizontally do that. And you can see that's perfectly aligned there all because of what I told it to align to. So just keep that in mind that there is some kind of extra parameters you have to pay attention to. All right. So now let's go ahead and do a few more things here. I'm going to go ahead and select these one, two, and three, but this time I'm going to go ahead and marquee over all three of these, right? So marquee means I'm going to use my selection tool and then just click and drag over them like that. I'm not touching anyone per se. I'm just starting from the outside and just clicking and dragging just like that. And then bam, you have that. And now what do I want to do? I want to align to selection and left align. And you can see perfect. They are now set up. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for these. I'm going to go ahead and left align that. Great. And now, guess what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and align these. So they're top aligned. Beautiful. Go ahead and marquee over these. Top align. And look at that. Perfectly splayed out columns. All right. Now, one thing you may want to do is work with guides. All right. So guides and alignment are really kind of meant to be in the same conversation. Okay. Because this was really nice. This was really easy to do, as you can see. But many times you want to kind of get yourself kind of set up so you know exactly where things should be, whether it's you or you have another designer that you know, okay, you know what? All our icons actually need to be like right there on the edge of the F for Fabio. So how do I create guides first of all? Well, I'm going to turn all the, the lights on, if you will, just by hitting the W key like I showed you a few lessons back. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag from my ruler and bring in a guide. Now, if your ruler's not set up, you can always go to your properties panel and you can turn on the ruler just like that. And now watch as I create a guide. I'm just going to simply move my mouse right on top of the ruler and click and drag. Do you see that? How it's kind of giving birth to something. I'm going to go right to the edge, right there. I have to be a little bit. Maybe if I zoom in a little bit, that should work. 
Okay, and then I could probably even like nudge that a tiny bit. I'm just selecting it and then using my arrow keys. Perfect. Now, I can then drag these and then make them all go right against the guide. See that? Now, mine is kind of snapping-ish, so I'm gonna make sure that they're always gonna snap because you do wanna have snap to guide if you're working with this you know, kind of properly. So how do I do that? If I go over here to view, and I'm gonna come down here to grids and guides, I'm gonna make it so snap to guides is set up, okay? Because if I don't, then it's gonna be a little bit more kind of slippery. I want all my objects that I have selected to be snapping to the guides, okay? Perfect, so I'm gonna have that all set up now. All right, so I have that there, and then just for fun, let's create another one. On the other side, I'll just come right to the edge of the S, go ahead and do that and then just have that snap right into place. Perfect, and you can see the little magic line appears there as well. Okay, great. Now let's do one last thing. I'm gonna kind of mess things up a little bit on purpose. I'm just gonna go ahead and just make this come down a little bit. What I'd like to do is do some kind of like even distribution of my content. All right, so notice how there's some kind of like, I'll just kind of mess this up a little bit again. I just wanna have like this is spaced out with this the same way that this is spaced out with this, all right? So all three of them have an even distribution. So let's just first of all make them left aligned. That's really easy to do. And now what I'm gonna do is go over to see where it says distribute object. And just like with my alignment, I'll see that I have all kinds of different choices. Do you want to distribute? Got to wait for it to load up there. Distribute top edges, distribute vertical centers, distribute bottom edges, or maybe going in the opposite direction. You can see all those with horizontal. Now this might be kind of a spicy taste for you, but let me just try out the first one. I click on that and you can see, bam, I get that perfectly, right? So because I had these all set up, there is an even amount of space just like that. Now, now that may not be exactly what I wanted in terms of how much space I want to use. So we're going to talk about that in a second. But I just want you to see that the distribute objects option gives us that perfect amount of space between them. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that again just for this one. So you can get a little review there. And I'll just go ahead and just kind of mess this up a little bit. And I'll just do that one. All right, and then it may not do exactly the same, let's not worry about that, but just notice how it's gonna be an even distribution between one, two, and three, just like how this is, all right? So that's gonna be very important. So it's intentional, but it also saves you the time of having to eyeball it. All right, so now let's just go ahead and do one last exercise on distribution. And I'm gonna use this guy down here or I'm going to distribute spacing and I'm gonna decide how much spacing I wanna distribute by. And currently it's set up to be zero inches of how the distribution is gonna be set. But I need to make those parameters very exact of how far apart I want these distributed. Okay, so I'm gonna say maybe about a half an inch. So I'm gonna highlight everything and then I'm just gonna change this to a half an inch, 0.5 inches, and then I execute. So just like how I did my you know, different spacing here, I'm gonna do it right here. And you can see, I now have control over how much distribu distribution there's going to be. Let's do the same thing for this one here. And then it's still set up. I do that, and now it's perfect, okay? And just a special note, this can be done with shapes, with text and text boxes, any kind of image, any kind of object you have at all, you can align distribute, have all these parameters on there to give you that level of perfection. You can also have these guys all work with your guides, have them snap to the guides, and have that level of layout control. All right, so practice that, and we'll see you in the next lesson. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.